I'm delighted to be here, really, because I actually haven't been well recently. Oh. Oh, stop it, honestly, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, but if you insist, um, I, I really haven't, though, so that's why I'm delighted to, to get here today. I was rushed to A&E recently with terrible abdominal problems, just hideous pains all up and down my tummy and around my sides, and I was rushed to A&E. And for about three hours, I thought, um, and anyone here who ever read a magazine as a teenager will know what I mean, especially the girls, I thought that I was about to have a surprise baby. <laughs> Do you know the way there's all the stories in the magazine going, well, everything was normal, nothing was different, everything was regular. Well, then I went to the toilet and I looked in the toilet and there was a baby in the toilet. <laughs> and that was a surprise baby. <laughs> There was always that, and that's when I, I thought it was. But um, you'll be happy to know that actually it was, uh, I'm bringing sexy back, a gut infection. A, a gut in infection. But, but the, the worst part of the, of the whole situation was that the doctor in A&E was really, really handsome. And I just, I, I think doctors who are handsome should be struck off. I really do. Uh, I wanted someone with a sort of mashed potato head that I could feel at one with. But instead, this man was really handsome. He said to me, oh, uh, what seems to be the problem? And I was like, oh, well, doctor, my problem is, is that I'm too cute. Ah, chase me, chase me. Um, I mean, how could I tell him that I thought I was having a surprise baby or else I was waiting for a poo? I mean, he couldn't, you know. And once we find out which one it is, do you want to go for a drink? <laughs> it's really quite terrible. But the doctor did get quite worried about me. He was like, Ashling, you're going to have to get out of the house during the day. And I was like, Doc, I'd love to, but my naps are not going to take themselves. <laughs> Saws. Um, but my, uh, my mother was equally worried. She was like, Ashling, just try and get out of the house and maybe do some exercise. Build up your strength and your muscle. Do a bit of exercise. But I actually find it highly offensive that my mother would suggest that I do exercise because she knows that I actually suffer from a terrible disability which prevents me from doing any exercise, which is where I can't, um, I can't uh, be arsed. I can't be arsed. <laughs> I just kind of can't be. And I would love to be arsed. I would love to be one of those people who's naturally arsed to do things, but I just sort of can't be. And I mean, my, my, my disability affects me in so many ways. Um, my ability to clean the bottom of the dustbin, uh, ring my aunties back at Christmas. Um, I, I would love to, but I just sort of can't be arsed to. <laughs> Unfortunately, I mean, I just don't like moving too much. I would sort of rather sit on the couch and waste away than move. I don't really like moving too much. I don't even listen to sad music in case I'll be moved. That's just sort of bad <laughs> um, And I think the reason that I don't like exercise is because the school I went to didn't have much money. So the sports facilities weren't great. And so a lot of the sort of sport and exercise we used to do used to leave us really uh, pregnant, really pregnant. <laughs> It's just not there. It, it really isn't. And I would love to be. I would love to be into exercise and stuff. But I just can't be arsed. I'll be honest. <laughs> and, and you know, people. I did um, uh, get tricked into going to Pilates class because I thought it was pronounced pilots. And I was there for about 15 minutes going. I wonder when they're going to let us fly the planes. <laughs> um, my friend Brona suggested that I do something social, like ping pong table tennis. Ping pong, I mean, I just, the ball moves too fast. I can never see it. To me, ping pong just looks like two perverts spanking a ghost. <laughs> just don't understand it. Do you know what I get a buzz out of? Sitting down. <laughs> Hello. I love sitting down. I do. I love sitting down. I even tried to do this gig sitting down, but they said they couldn't legally classify it as stand up. <laughs> Hi -oh. Um, but yes, I really do love sitting down. You know the way you always hear those stories in the tabloids about those men who were found sat down in a chair, dead and alone, and they hadn't been found for days, and they were sat there covered in their own wee. Oh no. What those stories never mention is the smile on that man's face. <laughs> but my mother, uh, my mother said to me, she was like, Ashley. If you don't start doing exercise, then you could end up becoming fat thin. <laughs> and I said, Jesus, Mary and Joseph and all of his carpenter friends. 
What is fat thin? Oh, Ashling, I read about it in a women's magazine. A women's magazine. The only targets of women's magazines are other women. Fat thin is where you're thin, but you're secretly fat because you don't do any exercise. You can also be thin fat, fat fat, thin thin, too fat, too thin, thin in the wrong place, thin in the right place, fat in the wrong place, fat in the right place. But no matter what you do, no matter what you try, you are definitely wrong. <laughs> As if I don't have enough problems in my life trying to walk down the street at night and not get raped, trying to live in a society where 25-year-old women are sticking plastic and poison in their faces, so by the time they get to their 40s and 50s, they've nothing left to do with themselves but pull out their eyeballs and stick babies' eyeballs in instead. It's even worse, where it's a tragedy to die young, so we're all pumped full of stuff to make us live longer, but nobody wants to do anything as unnatural as look older. Oh no, would not be mad to look older and be older. So we're all pumped full of stuff to make us live longer, but look younger, so by the time we die aged 100 in a box, we look like we've died tragically young. That we live in a world where they have developed telephones without plugs that can send a picture of a cat from one side of the world to the other side of the world in under a second. And they are still trying to go up with faster telephones. Yet still, after 200,000 years of humanity, we have not come up with a better way to have a baby child than to push something the size of a bowling ball out my tiny hole! <laughs> I said, go shove it up your fluke, mother. <laughs> I didn't actually tell my mother to go and shove it up her fluke. Um, I agreed to go to a Zumba class. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been absolutely lovely. I've been asking me, have a fantastic evening. <laughs> to me, ping pong just looks like two perverts spanking a ghost.